So, uh, now we've come up with that ink and we've had a chat about some of the ideas uh, involved in it, what I thought is actually physically made a noise maker based on a 555 timer. Now the 555 timer I'm going to use is this uh, surface mount CMOS timer and it's tiny, I mean it's really really tiny. So it's going to be a challenge to actually fit that on, but when it's on, uh, you're not going to be able to see it. Now the ink will act like a cold solder and will make a good connection to the um, electronic components we're going to use. And we're not going to use that many electronic components. <laughs> now, when you're making this thing, what you have to do is convert the schematic into an actual drawing, because obviously you don't want to make the lines um, hugely long and you don't want to make them um, cross over each other. So you have to have quite a careful think about where everything is going. Now I'm going to use the um, 555 and it only uses pins um, 6, 2, 1, 3 and 8. So that's all that this circuit uses. One obviously is connected straight to the ground row. Eight obviously is connected to my live row. That um, 555 incidentally will take anything between sort of um, 2 volts and 15 volts for the CMOS. They go 5 volts, 18 volts for the uh, normal 555. So there's a huge range of voltage. And the battery I'm going to use is going to be uh, a 9 volt battery. So I'll use a 9 volt battery on it. Uh, two and six connect to each other, uh, 3 obviously is my output, and 2 and 6 go to my speaker and then back to ground, and that speaker is going to be a piezo speaker, and this one is going to go to a variable resistor that's going to change the tone of the speaker. Now that's the schematic, now that obviously will not do, so you have to plan out what you think, what you think the thing is going to look like. At the end of the day, what I actually came up with was this. We're going to have the 555 timer here, and that's going to be pin 1. And then we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the only ones I'm going to connect are 1 and 8, going to the minus and the positive of the battery. And then 2 and 6 are going to be connected to each other across the back there. And then 3 is going to come out and be connected to a wire. And the wire is what we're going to use to um, vary the resistance. Now, 2 and 6 get connected to a painted variable resistor. So the wire comes out of here and as we touch it anywhere along that line, the tone is going to change. So that's where 2 and 6 go. Then the piezo gets connected here and here. So that's where the piezo is going to be. And then there's going to be a pen or a wire connected that we run to there. So at the end of the day, what I'm going to be painting onto my piece of paper is something that looks like this. There we go. So that's what I'm going to be painting onto the bit of paper. Now, um, I can't paint that fine, and I don't think anybody can paint that fine. So what I'll do is I'll put masking tape over the areas, paint a section, wait for it to dry, peel it off, and remask to build up this area. Because remember that chip is very, very small. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, and um, that's the basics of the circuit. So the things that we're going to need in order to make this <coughs> is a bit of card, about that big, some ink, your uh, 555, which the thing is so small I've now put it down and forgotten, okay, so we need some ink. Paper, brush, masking tape, a 555, five, either a CMOS or a standard 555, five, five, a Pisa, buzzer, a piece of wire, 
battery. Now you can either connect the battery using uh, a battery connector or two crocodile clips. Either a connector or clips. Okay, and that's what we're going to need. Okay, so this is the second one, and it's slightly more complex than the first. In the first one, all we really did was um, use the ink to um, replace the circuit lines. In this one, I've painted the circuit, but actually I've included this element here, which is in fact a resistor, and the resistance of that is about 10 kilo ohms, and it's a passive component. So here we've got the actual circuit lines here, and then a passive component made out of the ink. Now, what happens with this is the... 555 goes on those lines there, like that. The piezo will attach on there, and then a wire attaches here, and we use that along there to make the variable resistance, and that will change the tone. I've also included a battery clip to attach the battery. So that's all there is to it. So now what I want to do is cold solder those on, and the way I cold solder them on is literally just to blob on the ink and let the ink dry, and that will cold solder those bits and pieces to it. And that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, there's the finished circuit. And so what I've done is um, basically painted on and glued on the NE555 there on the thing that I um, painted first, and there's a little piezo buzzer there. So all you have to do now is connect these up to a battery, and I've got a battery standing by, just there. I could have put a battery um, clip on it if I'd wanted to. Actually, I'm going to do this again. Okay, there's the finished circuit, so time to dry it out. And as you can see, the pitch changes depending on where I am along that resistor. Um, if I put it along there, the pitch is actually too high to hear. So it is doing something, but it's too high, so we've got to put it somewhere in our listening range. Okay, now that's obviously still a bit quiet, so what I would like to do with it next really is attach an amplifier. An amplifier isn't much, an LM386 looks like a little chip like that, it looks like a 555. So I'm going to put an um, amplifier chip on there to get a bit more noise out of it. And then obviously because the um, note changes along with the resistance, I can work out what the resistance is to give me an actual note, and I can build a styloform out of this. So that's what I'm thinking of doing next, is a paper-based styloform. But there you go, a paper-based noise maker using conductive ink. It's kind of cool actually, I really quite like that. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it too.